this is one thing I wanted to show. Uh, I did a different mounting uh, guy, simple battery, the motor going to the center uh, to show the, the top surface of the magnet when it rotates. Okay, so here we go. Kind of looks lumpy. It gets lumped on one side. Oh, yeah, it's not very good. And then, uh, I don't think these really do much. Oh, yeah, they do. So there's some compasses showing the variance in the field. They just kind of oscillate a little differently. What's wrong with this guy? Why is he the only one pointing south and all the others pointing north? Maybe they put the magnetite on the wrong side. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, there it is. And here's another one. This magnet was shown in videos quite a while ago. I think last year or the year before. Uh, I kept it around because I thought it was kind of cool. But it does have a similar thing in that... kind of see a ripple effect a little bit because one of the points is broken. Or several of the points. I chiseled it out and then one of them broke. Broke the tooth off. Uh, but it does create variance in the, in the compass slightly. Kind of kicks it because it's wanting to follow that notch because it's notched out. So, yeah, you might be thinking, hey, well, this would do it. And well, no, because. Uh, this won't do it because you don't want magnets in the generator that are notched and broken and irregular. You want something you can basically program like this ring uh, with a field programmed onto the cylindrical ring. Because remember, uh, this machine is harmonically balanced and uh, everything has to weigh the same. So, wave on the field, not wave in the material. This is another device I picked up off of eBay for demonstrating magnetic fields and their potential. What I didn't realize is just how ultra sensitive these little arrow guys are. Uh, I'm just using a wooden toothbrush because I use any kind of metal they pick up the magnetic field around it or if it's copper it produces an eddy current. I have to be walk careful walking across my solid concrete floor because these little arrows pick up the vibrations to the table. It's kind of annoying, but it's at the same time it's cool. So I'll turn this on. This is my Searle inspired waveform ring under there. In a way, this in, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, throwing a stone in water. These guys just all ripple across a magnetic field. And this little guy maybe charged with a little bit more magnetic potential, but I've done this several times and this one always starts to wobble more than the others. Um, and now you can see the, the ripples going through here quite well. You can notice the little kick, kick, kick on these guys. Uh, that's where the one of the peaks is on this on the, on the ring here. Well, yet these guys just don't even budge. This is one other aspect of what John Searle said would happen when all his rings were put into a, a roller configuration such as this. Now this only has seven magnets. Each one has been specially magnetized in the unique way that, uh, that I do it. So let me demonstrate here with magnetic film and a magnetic field demonstrator. Here it is rotating. Now it's a little lopped. As you can see it doesn't truly rotate perfectly. And frankly, because these things aren't all lined up perfectly. Okay, so on to what I was talking about. Now this is the magnetic film. 
you can see things. Now look at this. These uh, magnets keep their individuality. Something you would see in traditional magnets is it just kind of turns into a big blotch. But this doesn't. They all squiggle independently. I like that. This is something John Searle said would happen. It's not just a big, huge blotch wall magnet. But they have their all indistinct little patterns. Okay. I like this because it almost like gives us some kind of a, a pulse like a heartbeat on this thing as it rotates around because these magnets have um, unconditional type fields they have a little peaks and valleys on them and it's a great way of representing it now some will say oh it's because it's oblong um, it's wobbling back and forth uh, yeah it is but also with when I've tested it with just a single ring like back here on the further end um, it does the same effect the magnets doing their wavy thing. I thought this was pretty cool and needed to show you guys because I know you're all paying attention on these projects as infrequently as these videos occur. Now here it is with just a single ring magnet. Actually the, the effect is more pronounced these things are like really clicking away every time the little uh, peak and valley comes by on the ring in the magnetic field. Let me show the film. You can kind of see it there. It's irregular. Anyway. Yeah, this thing flutters really well when you set it back down, but you give it a minute and it calms down and starts emulating the field pretty well. I like it. Cool little device.